Mike Huber, Moneyball Hitter Magazine, lead columnist, team hitting specialist. <clears throat> hey, anybody up as late as I am right now? It uh, We're in Chicago, weather's cold, but my heart's warm because we're going over uh, the West in the National League. We just went over the Dodgers, and uh, it was good to hit a, uh, talk about a good hitting team with the Dodgers. And now we're going to talk about the Arizona Diamondbacks today. Uh, the Diamondbacks ranked 18th in hitting in the major leagues this year. Uh, 248 with a 302 slug. <clears throat> Not real good, but good enough to be in the middle of the pack. Uh, I do have some positive things to say about you, Diamondbacks. So hang on to your hats here. <clears throat> um, so Diamondbacks, led by Chip Hale. I think he's a first-time manager from last year. And uh, this year, uh, or last year, their hitting coach is uh, Turner Ward, a journeyman in the minor leagues and major leagues. And uh, seemingly what I've read about Turner Ward is the players uh, really like to be around him. And... Uh, you know, they had a lot of young players, it seemed like. Uh, they got a lot of at-bats with the Diamondbacks, and they did fairly well. Uh, better than most of the teams that try to bring up the um, the younger hitters. Usually they fall flat on their face. They hit 220, 230, or something like that. There were some players that were young guys that, uh, you know, chipped in, chipped in for the Diamondbacks. So, um, you know, based on that, I think Tur Turner Brown... Uh, just reading about him, is another smart hitting coach. These hitting coaches that are smart know that they do not know the secrets, mechanical secrets about hitting uh, like we do here at Moneyball Magazine. And I'm not being pompous. I'm just saying get, put us to the test. Give us a team. Give me the numbers. I'll tell you what numbers you're going to go you're, you're going to go to. Okay. And then we are averaging 50 points better than what their team was in previous years in slugging per percentage and team batting average, okay? So these hitting coaches that know that they do not know the secret formulas, the money ball formulas, the magic bullet, kind of lay off the mechanical parts and go to the psychological and mental Part and go to the approach part, okay? And this is what this guy Turner Ward does. Hitters like those types of coaches that aren't screwing with their swing and everything like that, okay? So I would keep this guy around if I were you, Diamondbacks. Even though the Diamondbacks this year hit 248, uh, the previous year they hit 259, so they did drop 10 points. But I think maybe uh, <clears throat> did they lose a couple of players or something? They brought up some young hitters. Uh, I don't know. Okay, uh, we're going to keep an eye on this because it's Turner Ward's first season and everything. A 10-point drop really is, you know, is it that much of a big deal? Uh, it will be if he does it two years in a row. Let me tell you that much. Okay, <clears throat> uh, they only have one star hitter. Um, which is Paul Goldschmidt, kind of new on the scene, 300 hitter, 19 home runs, good enough to be a star hitter in this league. And then uh, they brought up this Alan Pollock. Um, he played half the year. I don't know if he was injured or if they brought him up. He had 303 with seven home runs, so on pace for a 15 home run season. We can almost put him in the star hitting category too. So they have one, maybe two, star hitters, and then they have a lot of chip-in hitters. Uh, David Peralta, 286, eight home runs. Um, this in Cararte, I don't know if I pronounced that right, 285, four, four home runs. Uh, Martin Paradox, 275 home runs. Chris Owens, 261, six home runs. You know, these are decent batting averages. They're chipping in. The power numbers suck. Okay, but, you know, if some of these guys are new guys and the hitting coach worked with them and he got them, 
to these decent numbers, that's pretty good. I'm just telling you that if you want to contend, especially uh, with the Dodgers and the Giants sitting in your conference, these guys are going to have to hit for twice as much power. I said twice as much power. You can't have that many players bunched up at five home runs. I don't care if you're hitting 280, 270, unless your pitching staff is just lights out. So you're not going to have a chance, Diamondbacks. So you do need a magic bullet. You do need a formula to get these powers, power numbers twice as heavy. They got to hit 15, 10 to 15 jacks, some of these guys. These guys, these four guys I just named, you got to boost two of them up to the uh, star hitter quality to contend with the uh, Dodgers and the Giants. So hitting coach, you got your hands full. If you knew the formula and you knew and you had some goals set and you knew how to get them in there, you got your hands full. Are you that good? I doubt it. Okay. But you're close. I'm telling you. You're surrounded. You're surrounding the Moneyball Championship formula. Four star hitters. Three or four chip in hitters. A lineup that's got to be dealt with by the pitching staff. Okay. Now you do have your 250 club members. Para, Pennington, Ross. Okay. I think they had less than four home runs. Pretty much a waste. You got your 240 club. Hill, Montero, at least Hill hit 10 home runs and Montero hit 14. We can't even put you in a chip-in club because you're hitting 240 or less. You're not really chipping in. Yeah, you almost hit 15 home runs, but you're hitting 240. That's not going to do it. All right. Trumbo, Gregorius. All right. I think there's some potential there just because of the power numbers some of these guys put up. Can you boost these guys up to the next level? Or maybe even make them into the star hitting level? We're, we're, conf we're confident. We get teams like this all the time. College teams, high school teams that we've just totally boosted up to the next level. And put them right into the money ball hitting formula. Okay? Our approach is more mechanical. And we, you know, we deal with the mental side too. But when you give somebody magic bullet secrets and they feel it and it works, their confidence goes up anyway. We really don't have to say anything. All right. So this is what we would do if we were Moneyball coaches and the Diamondback said, come on in. What can you do for us? We tell them exactly that. We're going to boost these at least two or three more players up in the star status. And two or three more players up into the chip-in status. And there you go. Pitching staff ready to go? You're off to the races. You got a playoff shot chance. All right? It's all built around money ball hitting formula. Could you believe that? You coaches out there who think defense and pitching is the main focus and whatever happens with hitting, and you don't pay attention to that, and then you... Don't know what to do, and then you play small ball and bunt and hit and run and do situational hitting and all that crap. Especially doesn't work in the major leagues. We know it doesn't work in the, in, in in college. Might work in high school because they don't know how to field as well. All right. Teach him how to slug. All right. So. 12 potential guys, hitters, that can step up to the star status on this team, I counted. All right? Coach Turner Ward, can you can you do it? All right? If somebody, if, if a general manager said, we got 12 guys, we got, we got them, they're all surrounded, they're ready to go, can you get them up to the next level, Turner? What would you say to him? Yeah, we, yeah, we, for sure. We, I'm very confident. Or I don't, I don't know. They're young guys. Uh, you know, 
good guys. They learned last year. We'll see what happens. That's not what you want to hear. Okay. But when you're not confident about teaching hitting or about, and you know that hitting goes up and down like it does, you can't really tell them that you're really going to turn them around, can you? So, Mark Grace, <laughs> Mark Grace, an ex-Cub, um, is an assistant hitting coach. I don't even know how much uh, hitting coach um, experience that he has. Mark Grace has been in the booth with the Cubs and the Arizona Diamondbacks. He likes to party it up. A couple DUIs out there in Arizona. I had to fire them. Let me tell you something. I've mentioned this before. If you're going into, uh, if you want to be a hitting coach, you better have it all together. Because if you don't, and things go bad, and your hitters can't hit, you find out you don't know as much about hitting as you thought you did. You're going to want to go to the bar and have a few drinks. And then when <laughs> you're the 18th hitting team in the league and it's not getting better and you're the hitting coach or the assistant hitting coach, Mark, you're not going to have as much pressure on you this year because you're just the assistant. And it's not going good off to the tavern again to drown your sorrows. All right? Hitting coaches lose their job almost every year. It's stressful. You're in charge of a lot of guys. The only thing that saves you from going crazy sometimes is a few beers after the aim at the bar. And when things go bad, a few beers go to a couple more beers, to a couple more beers, to a couple more beers. All right? <laughs> you think I'm kidding around about this? You think I'm kidding around about this? All right? Unless you got, unless you're all connected, and you and you and you can expect some good outcomes, and you know that you're confident in your abilities. That's what happens. All right? Now, I do want to mention one thing. I'm sorry for laughing because we've, uh, you know, we hit Don Mattingly up for his uh, V-Grip, Power V-Grip product that he sells, and Joe Maurer for his Quick Swing product that he sells, and Ken Griffey Jr. with his Swing Rack, Downward Swing Rack product that he sells. We don't even know if these people actually believe in their products. I think guys like Mattingly actually do. And then he tries to line up the knocking knuckles and stuff with his V grip when pros don't even hold bat like that. But uh, in the Arizona Diamondback system, there is this um, uh, what do they call this thing? It's a it's like a plate that you stand on. The hitter's drive or something like that. I'll try to get the name of it here. Um, but anyway, you stand on it, and it, what it's supposed to do, and I'm going to show you a video of it, and what it's supposed to do is drive the back knee into the ball, okay? And, and uh, the Arizona Diamondbacks uh, hitting coordinator for a long time, and I don't even know if it's still there. Please somebody tell me if that thing is still, still in the Arizona Diamondback uh, organization. And you drive off this thing, and if the hitters are using this thing, I'm going to tell you, it's not going to help them at all. You don't start your swing with your back knee. There's no big muscles in your back knee. Okay? There's muscles in your thighs, in your hips, on your backside, in your butt, but the muscles aren't in your knee. That's where the connection point is. You drive your back knee into a ball, you're just going to slide forward, and you're done on a curveball. So Diamondbacks, if you're still using that thing, your numbers aren't going to get any better than this. And I could see, and I could see, 
I'm going to take a look at some of your hitters. I haven't yet and see if they're actually driving that back knee into that ball. Okay? Ask Ted Williams. He didn't say drive the back knee into the ball. He said, I use my hips, baby. It was, it's all in the hips. And us money ball coaches know that there's, especially with myself, there's a certain part of the hip. You think it's in the front? You think it's in the back? Where do you think it is? There's a certain activation point that activates the hip to powerfully get all of the body into the swing and actually helps the bad head get to the ball and time up the swing. But you know what? I can't talk about that because it's the one thing that I, it's the one big secret that uh, I would love to give you the secrets on. But this secret is like worth a million dollars. I have products. You can buy it, find the secret on my product line if you want. But I ain't giving this secret out. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I'm not giving the secret out. I'm giving you hints all over the place with all my articles and stuff like that. But I ain't giving the secret out. Okay? Because if I gave this secret out, people would think that I'm... You would think... In like two seconds, if I gave this out, instead instead of educating you as to why it works, how it works, and everything like that, you'd think I'm crazy. I've been called crazy before, but when I go resurrect a 250 hitting team, a high school college team, and get them to hit 300, 320, in one season's time, while using this technique I'm talking about with the hips. All the people thought I was crazy. I don't see them anymore. <laughs> okay? I'm sorry to laugh. It's just laughable. All right? And this uh, power drive, okay, is a hitter killer. It looks all professional. Using your backside, getting that backside knee so that bat doesn't wrap wrap out and stuff like that and whatever talk that you guys use okay sounds all good it's a hitter killer another product that's a hitter killer all right so we'll show you that and please somebody from arizona please email us and say they don't use that anymore please somebody okay I don't want anybody to tell me, email me, and, and try to prove to me that it works either, because I've tr I've already come across that. All right, I've already proved that scientifically why it doesn't work. Okay, I don't want to get too scientific on you tonight, but I'm just t I told you about the back knee, and that it just drives you drives you to go leap forward too much, which is the major problem of hitters. Okay. So, uh, we'll run some evaluations on some of these hitters. Uh, if we can find some video on them, I'm sure we'll be able to. But Diamondbacks, you're close. You're ready. You're ready to go. You're on the brink. You're on the doorstep. You're going to fall down the stairs? You're going to stay on the same doorstep? Or are you going to take... You need two more steps up to get to them. To get to the Moneyball Championship formula to contend with the Dodgers and the Giants. You can do it. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Mike Huber over and out tonight.